down to the line, uh, you know, you see that the military can be called upon to, to in aid of civil, uh, uh, you know, civil authority if, the, if, the, if, there are, if there are threats, imminent threats to lives and property of Nigerians. But what we are saying is that, in as much as we support the military to uh, safeguard lives and property of Nigerians, we also want them to be totally unbiased. The military should be professional the way they are. The, the military is not a political party. The military is not an affiliate of APC or PDP. The military is only loyal to the constitution of Nigeria and to Nigerians. And by the way, who owns the sovereignty of Nigeria? The Nigerian citizens. We are the owners of the sovereignty of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So the military should be loyal to Nigerians, to, to the constitution of the country, and not to political authorities. Particularly when you have a process of election, you know, an election uh, election process is a process that can produce anything. It does not necessarily mean that because the commander in chief, the incumbent president, is also running in the election, that the military should take illegal orders for him. No, far from it. He is the candidate. He's dissenting with uh, Atiku Abaka. The president is dissenting with Atiku Abaka. The president is dissenting with the uh, who is the smallest contestant in this election? I mean, in terms of age. Sure, the man who owns the salary reporters. The president is not different from him. He's a candidate, a bona fide candidate. He's a legitimate candidate that has been uh, you know, presented by his party. All of them are said they should be treated equally. Nobody should be treated as a special person. That's why, in fact, most likely before the election, we'll go to court. Because we gave one in the other time the government should stop spending our money in carrying out their campaign. And they continued as if it's just a, a carnival. They use our money to play politics, the government of the day. And this is an ongoing tradition. It's not as if Buhari is exceptional. It's been going on for a long time. But you have a man who says he wants to change the rotting system. And he is deeply enmeshed in the rottenness. I was saying, well, I don't know to go to challenge it. If possible, even if it means stopping the election, we wouldn't mind. If that, if that would amount to, uh, if, if what the, those in authority have done contravenes the Electoral Act, let the court decide. We will we'll go, we'll go to court very soon. Because they have not stopped using public um, resources. The spokespersons of the president have become the spokespersons of the political party. We have by use this, we have by use this uh, our press conference to unfortunately the National Assembly is not even working. The special advisors who are now playing the role of spokespersons of APC should not collect any salary. They should not collect salary. On this, the period of time that they have been doing this uh, campaign, since they, they stopped doing their work, they should, they should not be paid. Any payment that is made to any political office holder that has diverted public funds to partisan uh, campaigns should be retrieved to the last couple. The EFC should go after them, should go after the special advisors who have now become spokespersons of their political parties. I'm not just saying it's something that is restricted to the presidency, it's all over the place. Even commissioners everywhere, everywhere in the country, they have stopped doing their work since the last six months and have been collecting salaries for not uh, doing what they ought to do. And we claim to be fighting corruption. It's quite unfortunate. Then, on the very important matter of election boycott, it is, it is, it is a constitutional um, uh, right of citizens to either participate in an election or not to participate, but you don't have the constitutional right to stop people from participating in, a, in an election. You don't have the right to be going all over the place saying that you are asking for a referendum, thereby people should not go and vote. That is nonsensical. Everybody in this country must vote. This is an election that is, is not a do or die election, but it's an election that determines the fates of so many of us. It's an election that means whether we're going to be alive or whether we're going to die. Because this election is very critical. This election is an election that, that will take Nigeria away from the poverty infestations.